We begin Wednesday's press review in Ghana with Daily Guide is a story. 2020 Manifesto War. NPP accuses NDC of copy copy. And Rawlings missing at NDC Manifesto. Ghanaian Times write, fight against COVID-19. Government praises frontline workers. Orders for commitment, sacrifices towards conquering disease. Another story is polio vaccinations of children. Takes off in eight regions tomorrow. In Kenya, the standard is a story. Playing with fire. Shame of nation. Political temperatures rise as party leaders posture for national unity while their sidekicks beat drums of war. Kanu threatened to expel Emura Diki, MP Joanna Ngeino, for insulting the president. Police put on alert to arrest headmongers. In Uganda, New Vision right. 53% of schools may not reopen, says report. And Museveni sues in Chief Justice, advises judiciary. In Zimbabwe, Daily News is a story. Sikila falls six in remand prison. His lawyers say he needs urgent medical attention. And Sim Tygoons in Mercy D. Force. Nigerian Tribune writes, Petrol, electricity pricing, student, groups protest. PDP tells Buhari, Nigerians can survive hike and Christian massacre location. What I told Trump, Buhari, says First Republic leaders most responsible ever. Daily Sun is a story. Protest against electricity tariff. Fuel price hike. Raw. Oshun. Ogun. Ondo. Oyo. Police foil demonstration in Lagos. Another story says what I told Trump about Christian massacre allegation. Buhari. The Punch right. Christian Association of Nigeria can knock Buhari as president says Trump asks why he's killing Christians. I told U.S. President Herzman, farmers clashes not on ethnicity, religion. President, your conversation with Trump, weak, 105 Baptists killed in 2020, says Khan. In Vanguard, 10.43 trillion Naira subsidy. You are wrong, industry stakeholders. Others tell federal government. Ending today's press review with The Guardian is the story. Niger export fuel to Nigeria as Egypt, Algeria built 13 refineries. Neighboring Niger Republic, which started commercial oil production in 2011, now export petroleum products to Nigeria as Egypt and Algeria lead African operations with 18 refineries. Happy reading. Don't forget to wear your mask and keep social distancing. See you tomorrow.